at that. Somebody left their hat there. Look at this, this is like a jungle back here. They have an arrow that says which way to go. This is cool, the hammock. Oh, look at this, resurrection fern. See that? See that fern? That grows all up the all up the trunk and it dies. It looks like it's dead. But then as soon as it rains, it'll spring to life. Resurrection fern. That is so cool. Old, old laurel oak tree grown straight over the path. <laughs> that is the coolest thing ever. This trail is awesome. Look at this sable palm tree growing up straight through. Look at this thing. Turboing. Oh, it's got ferns growing up in it. You see that? Yeah. That is so cool. Coffee, ferns. This is a full on jungle trail. With the ferns like this and. Golly. Fountain of Youth, Jack. We discovered the Fountain of Youth. It's right down there. Tom Brady's been Tom Brady has been bathing in this in order to maintain his youthful like performance. To a sunny spot. I think we're getting very close to the river. Look at this beautiful canopy here. This is so cool. Resurrection fern everywhere. These are old growth oaks for this area. Live oaks, huh? Maritime hammocks are very diverse habitats. Tropical and temperature plants are found here. Tropical and temperate plants. Wild coffee. There's that wild coffee. Beautyberry. The live oak. The resurrection fern. The wild pine. That's a cool one. It looks like a pineapple. And butterfly orchid. Alright. That's a winner. Jack! 
We come to the fork in the road, right or left? Going left? Sunny path or the dark path? What do you choose? Too hot. Let's go into the darkness. Because that way is the river. Look at these mangroves back here. Wow, you're right in the mangrove roots. Is that cool? Right on the edge of the mangroves. Look at this wild sense of area growing. Beautiful. Sometimes they call this mother-in-law's tongue or snake plant. Growing wild here. Very, have a very easy time growing next to this path. Okay, I'm coming. What'd you find up there? Wow, look at this red seaweed. Go for a walk in it. Jack, not the same time! <laughs> if you fall, you fall into the red seaweed. Or wobble the limb too much. you both off. Really? What kind of fish was it? Mullet. Well, it looks like the path continues through these three palm trees here. Yeah, but we've got a first climb. Yeah, if you know what you're doing, you you also use the palm tree balance beam, the sable palm balance beam. Let's see what you can do, Jack, on the sable palm balance beam over the red algae pit. That's cool. Whoa, this is cool. The roots are growing down from the mangroves right in on the path. Look at that. Aerial roots. We 
are deep in a sable palm forest. What do you think, Jack? <laughs> Look, bamboo. Bamboo. That's uh, bamboosa multiplex, I believe. Hedge bamboo. Multiplex. That's like Jack. Multiplex. <laughs> No, bamboo flex. <laughs> bamboo flex. <laughs> You're last. Sea gravy. Big sea grape. Every oak tree here has a resurrection fern on it. Beautiful, beautiful palm forest. Somebody or something went absolutely nuts planting palm trees back here. No. <laughs> Your people? We're not alone, Jack. Isn't that cool? That is where a sable palm tipped over. See all the roots coming out here and the shells? Yes. See the fern up in that stable palm? Beautiful, large leaf ferns up there. Keep going, fam. Not used to seeing a lot of poison ivy, but that is definitely up in that tree there. See it? That's clearly poison ivy. That other stuff that we saw wasn't, although it looks normal. What's interesting is you can see the thick root growing down the Oh yeah, right down to there. Look, there's one right there too. Baby one's there, yep. So this is where the poison ivy is. Can I touch it? You can. Yeah, you'd just be itchy and red for a while. <laughs> it's not a fun journey. Oh, but it is. That helps so cool. Yeah. <laughs> Just looking at it. Hopefully those will produce lots of new wild coffee plants. More, yeah, tons of wild coffee. Hey, they saved our bench. <laughs> <laughs> 